Hi friends, this is Kim from Creative DIY Purpose Design. Welcome to this week's Canva tutorial. In this series, we will cover basic image editing, intro to Canva, layering elements, creating and designing tags, labels, signs, and much more. Be sure to stay with me to the end of this video and I'll share ideas on ways that you can use your designs on your DIY and upcycle projects. I'm excited to share with you how easy it is to create using Canva. So come on, let's get started. Whether you want the Canva free version or a free trial of Canva Pro, here is the link for you. I will post it below in the description box as well as pinned in the comment com section. Okay, so once you're logged in, you'll be able to view the home page. If you come up in the upper left-hand corner, you'll see that this is your dashboard to be able to go to your projects or research thousands and thousands of amazing templates that Canva has to offer. Another way that you can search for your content or Canvas is to use this search bar up here. Canva will give you different suggestions for templates that you may want to ch check out. Anything from business cards to greeting cards. If you scroll down a little bit, you'll be able to view your most recent designs and you can just click on them to edit or print out. Today, we're going to keep it simple and come up and click on create a design. I am on a laptop. If you are on a mobile device, you're going to find the created design as this icon as a circle with a plus in it. You can find it down in your lower right hand corner. So click on custom size. Canva gives you four different options for your designs to choose pixels, inches, millimeters, and centimeters. I'm going to go with inches today to keep it simple and a standard sheet of paper. So you can choose eight and a half by 11 or 11 by eight and a half. It's easy to get excited and a little overwhelmed because Canva offers so many different choices, which is wonderful. But today we're gonna keep it simple and we're just gonna look at these following features. Elements, text, sizing, position, transparency, and save and print. These are the features that I use the most when I'm creating my printables and the designs that you see on my videos. I'm going to show you how I made this simple label. We've got our standard sheet of paper. We're going to come up in the upper left hand corner and you'll see that this is how you get back to your home page. We're going to click on elements and you can come up to the search bar and type in anything that you're looking for. Today we're going to type in vintage and different elements are going to pop up. You can choose photos or graphics. We're going to go with graphics for today. It even narrows down your choices by offering different suggestions. We're gonna go with vintage flowers. As you look at the elements, you'll notice some of them have crowns next to them in the lower right-hand corner. That's for the pro version. That's the paid version of Canva. And then you'll notice ones that don't, and those are for the free version. All right, so I'm gonna position the roses and then head up to the search bar. And let's come up and search for labels. So we're gonna scroll down. I'm going to click on this one as it's from the same series. So I found this oval tag by actually clicking on this because I liked the look of this element. And you'll see how it pops up magic recommendations. And magic recommendations will give you different color options and design options with the same dial of design. So there's our oval tag this element here we don't want we can get rid of it two different ways you can delete it by right clicking on your mouse and delete it that way or you can just slide it off your page you'll notice up here I use the arrow buttons this to undo an action and this is to redo the undo so we're going to redo the undo so another thing that you may have noticed when I click on this label color bar shows up here let's click on that now this is going to allow you to change the colors in this element. Some elements let you and others don't. So see when we click on the flowers, that does not give us the option. But this label element does. So we're going to go over to the side color bar and Canva will show you what colors you've already used in your design. So we're going to change that outline from brown 
to burgundy. And even though it offers the option to change the beige color of the oval, I'm gonna leave it as is. We're ready to add our roses on top of our label, but because we put the label on last, this is in the forward position. So you can do this one of two different ways. Come up to position, I'm clicked on the tag, and I wanna move the tag backwards. Or you could click on the roses, come up, and push them up forward. Either way will get you there. You'll notice that there's four white dots, one on either corner. When you move them, it will show you the measurement of the element that you've clicked on, the width, the height, and that measurement is in inches. Now we're gonna head up to the upper left-hand corner and we're gonna check out the transparency feature. I love this option to get a vintage age look in my designs and we'll be using it in the future. All right, so we're at 77 there. Let's go 77 with this one. All right, the transparency on the roses is 88, so we want to do the same. You can just come right up and type in 88. Now we want to add text. So we're going to come over here. Canva offers thousands of different types of font, which you're going to be able to find over here. You can also, when using the search bar, and you can type in vintage to see what type of vintage font pops up. You can type in script, and this will help narrow it down so that you don't have to search through thousands and thousands of fonts. Look for Alex Brush. It'll give you your most recent used fonts. I'm just going to type in thank you. We're going to make our font bigger so up to the upper toolbar. And we're just the plus button until we get it where we want it. All right, I think I have to raise my image up a little bit. So I'm going to use the arrow keys on my keyboard. You created your first design. Now it's time to give your design a name and you can go up in the upper right hand corner up here. I've already typed in the file name for my design and now I'll head over and save it. Click on share, scroll down to download. You can save your design as a PNG. Now this is suggested. This says that it's best for complex images and illustrations. Okay, we're just going to hit PNG. We're going to download. And once it's downloaded, it will show up on the bottom of the left-hand corner of your screen. We've got our designs ready to print. I'm going to hit print. One tip that I'll give you, your orientation when you go to print you want that to be the same orientation that you created your design in remember we use 11 by 8.5 which is landscape if you were to use an 8.5 by 11 that would be portrait i've made this mistake a few times in the past and it will not print out the way that you want to all right so we're going to go back to landscape we're going to hit print and let's check it out Friends, thank you so much for joining me over here on my second channel. It's so nice to have you here. You'll find the next video in this series posted below. Have a super blessed weekend, and I'll see you Tuesday for another video.